Maybe tats are more trouble than they're worth. Hotel QT Perth has been trying its best to stay classy, San Diego. It's been banning anyone coming into its bar if they have face tats. The policy is designed to stop people like this, but is enforced with such rigour it's also stopping people like this. Rules are the rules, even for Post Malone. The hotel is up front and its stay classy regulation is well publicised. Almost as well publicised as its recent advertising campaign encouraging guests to hold threesomes on Valentine's Day. Yeah, well that's classy. This is the same hotel that encourages you to bring your pets to stay with you in your room. So if you're into three in the bed throwdowns while Fido watches, you're more than welcome. <laughs> But if you're a Grammy-nominated rock star looking for a quiet beer, you can f*** right off. <laughs> Not just rock stars having tap problems. Rebels bikey Joseph Raimondi has been back in court. Last time we heard from this bloke, it was when he was charged for walking into Bunnings advertising his gang affiliation. That was a contravention of insignia laws and earned him a decent fine. What do bikies buy at Bunnings? I assume, like the rest of us, a bunch of stuff they never intended buying when they walked in. A 128-piece screwdriver set that'll turn into a f***ing one-piece screwdriver set within a week into the trolley. In Joe's case, a plastic tub and a spatula. <laughs> His rebels tats earned him another fine when he was at Crown Casino last June. Now the Bunnings thing was fair enough because he didn't make any attempt to hide it, but from what I was told, the Casino one was a little bit rough. Apparently the cops went down to Crown after he'd been there and searched CCTV for footage of him. And the eye in the sky is watching us all. They found him at one of the playing tables doing whatever it is that bikies do at casinos. That's it! Oh, shut up, bitches! Yeah. I actually heard he wasn't causing trouble, but they zoomed in close on his hand and when he reached out to pick up his cards or his chips or something, they got a still of one of his club tats showing. Well, the law's the law. Well, that night at the casino happened in the same month that Joseph's house in Lansdale was raided by the cops. He was at home last June when the doorbell rang and it wasn't Avon calling. <laughs> As the gang crime squad came through his front door, Joe locked himself in the toilet. Oh no. He was trying to get rid of two grams of meth, only it wouldn't flush. Oh God, I beg you please, if you make this water go down, I will sit at your feet and I will serve you for all of eternity. His subsequent arrest was a turning point according to his lawyer, Michael Chidori, who recently told the district court that Joe went to two places after he was charged that night. Rehab, where he got clean, and hospital, where he got a gastric sleeve. Because old mate Joe was a seriously big unit. 152 kilos, according to his counsel. Chidori said his client was a bit of a mess at the time, was suffering from self-esteem issues and whatnot. I eat because I'm unhappy. And I'm unhappy because I eat. He's dropped an astonishing 50 kilograms since getting in trouble with the police last time, and he's starting to look pretty sharp. Not quite a million bucks like old mate Dan Brakovich. But he's on his way, and it's not just me saying good on him. The judge did also and spared him time behind bars for the drug thing. Chidori said he's in a good headspace now and amongst other things was able to enjoy fishing again. BCF and fun. Hey. Joe owns a tackle shop. Of course he does. Not the first time there's been a link between outlaw gangs and angling. Yeah, but you have it, folks. 25 years ago, the TRG went into the home of well-known WA fisher Doug Clegg, found 22 kilos of TNT and 50 sticks of gelignite. <laughs> Raymondi likes to wet a line, but according to his lawyer was so big, he couldn't get in his tinny. You're going to need a bigger boat. Not anymore. I'm Ben Harvey. For more up late, click the subscribe button below.